Welcome to Optimal Wellness Channel. Ever struggled to fall asleep? You're tossing, turning, and no amount of sheep counting seems to do the trick. Welcome to the club, the I Can't Fall Asleep Club. This is a club with a vast membership, encompassing people from all walks of life. From the busy mom who's been up since dawn to the night owl coder, the struggle is real for millions of us. Now, you might be thinking, well, it's just one night, I'll catch up on sleep tomorrow. But then tomorrow comes, and the next day, and the next. And before you know it, you've got a sleep debt bigger than your student loans. And trust me, no amount of caffeine can bail you out of this one. Lack of sleep isn't just about feeling groggy or grumpy, it goes deeper than that. It's like that one domino that sets off a chain reaction, affecting our mood, energy, productivity, and even our health. As much as we hate to admit it, sleep is not a luxury, it's a necessity. It's the unsung hero, the silent partner in our journey towards optimal wellness. But why is it so hard to fall asleep? Well, it could be a number of things. Maybe your mind is racing with thoughts, or you're stressed about work, or you're just not comfortable. Whatever it is, it's clear that something needs to change. So, what's the solution? Should we all just quit our jobs, sell our belongings, and move to a remote island with no Wi-Fi? Well, as tempting as that sounds, it's not exactly practical. But don't worry, we're not here to suggest drastic measures. We're here to provide you with simple, practical tips and tricks to help you fall asleep faster and sleep better. So whether you're a chronic insomniac or just someone who occasionally has trouble sleeping, this video is for you. But don't fret, we've got some tips and tricks that could have you snoozing in no time. First things first, you need to set the scene for sleep. Now, what does that mean? Well, just like you wouldn't run a marathon without the right gear, you shouldn't attempt to sleep in an environment that isn't conducive to good rest. Let's start with the basics. Your room needs to be as dark as possible. You see, our bodies are wired to respond to light and dark. When it gets dark, our brains release a hormone called melatonin, which makes us sleepy. So, if your room is lit up like Times Square on New Year's Eve, your brain might get a little confused. Next, consider the temperature. Have you ever tried to sleep in a room that's either too hot or too cold? It's not fun, right? Our bodies sleep best in a slightly cool environment, around 60 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit, so adjust your thermostat accordingly. And then there's noise control. Unless you're one of those rare individuals who can sleep through a rock concert, you'll want to minimize noise as much as possible. Maybe that means using earplugs or perhaps a white noise machine. So we've got the environment down. Now what about a bedtime routine? You might be thinking, I'm not a child, I don't need a bedtime routine. But here's the thing, our bodies love routine. It's all about setting up cues to signal to your body that it's time to sleep. Maybe that means reading a book, or doing some light stretches, or perhaps sipping on a cup of herbal tea. Whatever it is, consistency is key. Remember that sleep is not just something that happens to us. It's an active process that we can control and improve. So, take some time to set up your sleep environment and establish a bedtime routine. You might be surprised at how much better you sleep. Just like a good movie, a good night's sleep needs the right setting. So, create yours. I seen script. Ever heard of digital detox? It's not just a fancy term, it can be your ticket to dreamland. Now, I know what you're thinking, but my phone is my life. Well, it could also be the sneaky culprit behind those restless nights. Let's break it down. Our beloved electronic devices like phones, tablets, and laptops emit a type of light known as blue light. This little rascal has a knack for messing with our body's internal clock, also known as our circadian rhythm. Think of it this way. When the sun goes down, our bodies naturally start to wind down, preparing for a night of restful slumber. But when we're exposed to blue light, our bodies can get a little confused. It's like our body's biological clock is saying, it's bedtime, but our brain is saying, but look at all these shiny lights. This discord can lead to difficulty falling asleep, restless nights, and feeling like a zombie the next day. So what's the solution? Unplugging. Turning off our devices at least an hour before bed can significantly improve our sleep quality. And no, Scrolling through social media in dark mode doesn't count as unplugging. I'm talking about a full-on digital detox, a peaceful hour, or more if you're feeling brave, without screens, where you can read a book, meditate, or even just stare at the ceiling contemplating the mysteries of the universe. Unplugging before bed not only helps us fall asleep faster, but it also allows us to have a deeper, more restful sleep. And that means waking up feeling refreshed and ready to seize the day, instead of hitting the snooze button five times. I know, it sounds tough, but remember, good things never come easy. The first couple of nights might be a struggle, but once you start seeing the benefits, you'll wonder why you didn't unplug sooner. So put that phone down and step away from the screens. Your dreams are waiting. 
Did you know that what you eat and drink can affect how well you sleep? It's not just a myth, it's science. Our diet plays a significant role in determining our sleep quality. Let's talk about caffeine first. It's the fuel that keeps many of us running, but did you know it's also a notorious sleep thief? Consuming caffeine, especially in the latter part of the day, can interfere with your ability to fall asleep. It blocks the adenosine receptors in your brain, tricking your body into thinking it's not tired. So that late afternoon cup of joe might just be the reason you're counting sheep at night. Now let's move on to alcohol. While a glass of wine might make you feel sleepy, it actually disrupts your sleep cycle. It might help you fall asleep faster, but it prevents your body from entering the deep stages of sleep, where the real restorative magic happens. So, if you're looking for quality sleep, it's best to limit your alcohol intake. Heavy meals close to bedtime are another sleep saboteur. Your body needs time to digest the food and lying down soon after eating can lead to discomfort and indigestion, making it harder to fall asleep or stay asleep. But don't despair. There are also foods and beverages that can help you sleep better. Foods rich in tryptophan like turkey, nuts, and seeds can boost the production of serotonin, a hormone that helps regulate sleep. Magnesium-rich foods such as spinach, almonds, and bananas can also help promote better sleep. And let's not forget about chamomile tea. This herbal brew is well known for its calming effects, making it a perfect bedtime drink. So it's clear that what we consume plays a pivotal role in how well we sleep. The key is to be mindful of what and when we eat and drink. And remember, it's not just about avoiding the bad stuff, it's also about incorporating sleep-friendly foods into your diet. Remember, a well-fed body sleeps better, so choose your meals wisely. Now that we've covered how to fall asleep, let's talk about why it's so important. Did you know that sleep is just as crucial to our health as eating well and exercising regularly? It's not just about feeling rested, although that's a lovely bonus. Good sleep has a whole host of benefits that can dramatically improve our quality of life. First up, it's a memory booster. While we're snoozing, our brains are busy sorting and storing all the information we've taken in during the day. This process, called consolidation, helps us recall information more effectively. So, the next time you're cramming for a test or presentation, remember that a good night's sleep might be your secret weapon. Beyond memory, sleep has a significant impact on our mood. We've all had those days when everything seems a little bit harder because we didn't get enough shut-eye the night before. Lack of sleep can make us feel irritable, short-tempered, and even depressed. On the flip side, quality sleep can leave us feeling happier, more patient, and ready to take on the day. And when we talk about overall health, the benefits of sleep are vast. It's a time when our bodies repair cells, restore energy, and release molecules like hormones and proteins that keep our immune system strong. Chronic sleep deprivation, on the other hand, can lead to serious health problems like obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. But let's not dwell on the negatives. The takeaway here is that good sleep is a pillar of good health. It's not something we should compromise on or push to the back burner. It's a non-negotiable, an essential, a must-have. So tonight, as you prepare to drift off into dreamland, remember that you're not just resting. You're investing in your memory, your mood, your health. You're giving your body the chance to recharge, rejuvenate, and prepare for whatever tomorrow brings. Sleep isn't just about resting, it's about recharging and rejuvenating. So make it a priority. Good night and sweet dreams.